ladies and gentlemen. Notwithstanding that Ghana is one of the largest producers of gold in the world, and we have been so for almost a hundred years. Notwithstanding, at the end, Ghana's reserves of gold at, at the center of that. We are the largest producer of gold. Notwithstanding that, Ghana's reserves of gold at the central bank at the end of 2021 was only 8.7 kilograms. That is our point of gold sector. And it is against this background that the Bank of Ghana started a gold purchase program. From gold has started a gold purchase program from gold producers to build up its foreign exchange reserves. To enhance this gold purchase program, government is implementing a new policy, which is already backed by law. And under this new policy, the Bank of Ghana, the central bank, will have the first right of refusal for all gold mined in Ghana. We will have the first right of refusal. The law says, if you mine gold, we can buy it off you. And so the central bank will have the first right of refusal, and the central bank will purchase the gold at wealth market prices, and the mining companies will export the portion that is not purchased by the central bank. This is a very, very important policy. Yes. Ultimately, once we accumulate enough gold, our future borrowing and our currency can be backed by gold. This will stabilize the city in the long term. We must also deepen our industrialization through value addition to gold. Even though Ghana has two gold refineries, none has the London Bullion Market Association certification, and this limits our full participation in the gold value chain. We will urgently work towards LBMA certification for our refineries in the next few years. Value addition to minerals such as lithium and bauxite will similarly be pursued, in addition to our 1D1F program and the implementation a continued implementation of the automated sector policy.